Well, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Tom Boone, Associate Director for Mission and uh, with the Outreach Foundation. We are here in Pakistan. Uh, thanks for following us. And I have the delight to introduce to you Rich Ziegler. So, Rich, tell us where you're from. I uh, grew up in Dayton, Ohio, and now live in Nashville, Tennessee. And what are you doing in Nashville? I do campus ministry at Vanderbilt University. Okay. Yeah, you, you you speak very well with the young people we met today. Oh, you well. seem to resonate with them. So um, today, uh, what we did is we have been at the headquarters of Pop Mission Society. As you know, if you've been following us, we've been following our way all the way through uh, from Karachi up uh, through the Sindh uh, province. And now we're in the capital, uh, Islamabad. It's a very different uh, world up here and uh, have visited with the staff, the, uh, st uh, the, the students who are, well, they're not really students, they're, they're interns who've graduated from university, some of the fellows, uh, and really heard more in depth about their stories and experiences with Pop Mission Society. Um, you preached today for uh, an Ash Wednesday service, and this is my first Ash Wednesday service here in Pakistan. I yep. know it was for you. For sure, my. <laughs> um, speaking of first, this is your first visit to Pakistan, and I'm wondering what has surprised you. Well, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, the country is a warm, uh, gracious, hospitable uh, mm -hmm. country. The people are very friendly. The food is wonderful. Um, there is a big difference between where we are in Islamabad, north, uh, to toward the south, Karachi, Hyderabad. Uh, economically, it's definitely uh, less developed in the south. Um, I think surprised me is how I knew Pakistan was not a rich country, but that area that we went oh, through yeah. and worked in uh, is definitely um, uh, pretty rough. Yeah, that yeah. is rough. Um, one of the things that, uh, well, as we went through today, uh, we had a bunch of different activities. What's a, what are one or two of those things? What What is popping for you? What, what as you reflect on the day, hmm. um, really stood out? Well, uh, first of all, the vibrancy of the worship, uh, the interns, the people they have here at Pakistani Mission Society, um, you know, they, they come from some backgrounds that are all over the country, but they're t together here. I think what speaks to me is that they are inspiring and forming a nice um, self-awareness uh, of community mm -hmm. that uh, is there for one another and is bringing hope that they can, they can make a difference in this country and, have, and that the Christians have... Um, you know, a, a strong community that that they don't have to be diluted and then perhaps um, you know swayed away from the faith uh, in this very strongly Muslim country. Yeah, um, you were with, and I I want to come back to that in a moment. But you were with a, a just a real stellar group of young people today, mm -hmm. a small group. Why don't you tell us just briefly about that? Well, I was with a we we broke out to have some discussion groups, and uh, I was paired with about five or six pastors, young pastors, and um, and then one non uh, pastor, and they were just eager to learn, mm -hmm. um, really um, excited to serve their churches, but aware that it's not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, they have their challenges, um, a lot of underemployment, a lot of un unemployment, a lot of um, fear about trying to, you know, live their life uh, without being exploited or at least discriminated against uh, and um, not being able to speak about their faith. Of course, there's strict, strict blasphemy laws in Pakistan, and so they have to be very mindful of those. You can get imprisoned or, or even executed if that is the case. <laughs> um, you mentioned challenges. And this is your first trip here. Um, you've been listening very well uh, to the voices of so many people. What is a one or what are one or two challenges? You've mentioned a couple already, but are there a couple of others that that just made you rethink your understanding of what Christians are facing here? Hmm. I didn't realize, I think, before how. Um, how poor a lot of the Christians can be in some areas. Not all. Some of the churches are doing all right. Um, and there's a lot of potential. I think PMS wants to uh, really encourage Christians to be going into business and other areas where they can, uh, civil, civil society, um, government, uh, so that they don't have to be just the, the low-level street sweepers. Um, and so taking advantage of that would be wonderful. Yeah. Um, 
so let's let's kind of pull back from the overall to the to the bigger picture. How do you see God at work hmm. here? Um, there's a lot of house churches that are forming, mm -hmm. done well. It seems like the Pentecostal churches are doing well. There's a lot of uh, ministries that are reaching out to the um, uh, areas that are not really served, unreached yeah. peoples. Um, and so uh, I see God moving in those churches, meeting uh, some of the unreached peoples uh, in these areas. That's a, I don't know what percentage, but it's uh, at least it's something. <laughs> So. Yeah, well, and I think of building on that with as we are have been hosted by Pop Mission Society. One thing that would really been cool to see is the way they are involved in community development from the ground. I mean, working with Ground Zero, mm -hmm. uh, but then right away from those points, instilling the Christian worldview. Even you know, even though they're working among Hindus and they're still Hindu, they're, they are in 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 viewing a a Christian worldview in everything they're doing and, and they're letting that be known. So that that's pretty powerful stuff. Mm -hmm. Rich, thanks. You're thanks welcome. for coming Thank on you. the team. Uh, thanks for this time at the end of a long day. And uh, thank you all for watching and, and staying with us. Uh, we'll come at you again another day or two. And until then, God bless. <laughs>